Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. Oh, what a blessed day, what a blessed day. God is just so good. A lot of people struggle with family cutting them off, family not wanting to be bothered. So this is how you deal with it and get over it the Christian way. Yes, a family member may have hurt you, may have done and said some things, or just totally cut you off for whatever odd reasons. But this is what you must do. Forgive them. Forgive them of whatever they said, done, did to you. Because you're the one that is walking around unhappy while they're going on with their lives. So you have to forgive them in your heart. Like truly forgive them in your heart. It says God, just say, God, I know what they did to me hurt. I feel offended. You know, how could they do me that way or whatever? But you just have to say, God, just take this hurt. I truly forgive them for what they have done. And then you have to say, it is well. It is well if they want to just cut me off and go on with their life as if they don't know me. It is well. But your main job is to, one, forgive them. And two, pray for them. Pray for them. Because obviously, they have deeper issues within you, within themselves, you know. So you have to just be like, God, whatever they're going through, um, help them. Work it out for them, Lord. And another thing, when you forgive someone, I know some people have been deeply hurt, where it's, you, it's hard to find forgiveness in your heart, but you must forgive them. But don't put yourself back in that position to get hurt again. I mean, you can forgive them and love them, and, you know, God forbid they really need you. Be there, but... It doesn't say, oh, sit back at the table with them, let them hurt you again or anything like that. You know, so don't beat yourself up just because you don't want to be around them like that anymore. You know, it's crazy a snake bites you and you go touch the snake again. What do you think you're going to do? He's going to bite you again. <laughs> so you have to, like, protect your heart and love them have a loving heart towards them but at the same time set boundaries like okay well i know you a user so i'm not going to allow you to use me again so what if you need some money or whatever we can pray about it or if i'm led in my heart to do so we can go to the bill company and pay it no i'm not giving you the money to go blow my money again or or whatever you know, because people will use you if you let them. What the Bible said, we have must have wisdom. And if you're lacking wisdom and discernment of the Spirit, then you need to get in your book of Proverbs. <laughs> because all of that gives you wisdom on how to deal with people, how to talk with people. But the main thing is to just forgive that person. Forgiveness unlocks your blessing that are being held up in the atmosphere because you're walking around with unforgiveness in your heart. God forgave us of all, <laughs> I'm telling you, all the hidden secrets that we have done, including me. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. So we must forgive each other. And if you're walking around with unforgiveness, then that's not of God. God forgave you, so don't you want to forgive others? Because we want to be forgiven for all the craziness stuff we've done, you know. Um, so, yeah, just forgive that person and truly forgive that person in your heart. Because I used to say, oh, yeah, I forgive you with my mouth, but it wasn't in my heart. And God said that to me. Yeah, you said you forgive them. But what about in the inside? You didn't forgive them with your total heart. That's the misser. That's the point where a lot of people just miss it at. They'll say, yeah, I forgive you. But in their heart, <laughs> they be like, I wish you would. You know, <laughs> they, 
that is not true here. It has to be true here. And then God can begin to turn things around and work that family member, work on that family member and work on you because also you, it, it's just not one sided, you know, we, both people had issues going on. So don't just be pointing the finger. Oh, you, 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 you know, um, um, pause. I'm not talking about the child molesters and all that stuff because no, a child did not, you know, cause themselves to get in that position. So it, we're talking about, you know, two adults maybe said something and they feel offended. Okay, so I just want to put that disclaimer out there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> let me just go back to what I was saying. But you get the point. You have to have forgiveness in your heart. And then God would just open the windows of heaven and things would just start turning around for you. Because that's what happened with me. I said I had forgave someone and I truly didn't in my heart. I was like, they speak. I'm like, you know, you have to get that fake smile. Yeah. But in my, in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I just really get around this person. This person gets on my nerves. And, you know, God was like, that's not me. That's not of love. That's not me, Phyllis. You have to still have that love in your heart towards a person, even if they did you wrong. So just 2019, just have a mindset to want to set yourself free internally. And then you'll just start glowing on the outside. You'll start feeling stress relief come. You won't be so frustrated. You won't be full of anxiety. So just have forgiveness in your heart. I love you. And take it one day at a time. And it'll be all right. Love you.